Good morning everyone. This is Carrie from Garden Rudiments. We're finally at the day to start our greenhouse. I am so excited. If you can see the little pins, the little wooden um, stakes that we have in the ground, this is where our greenhouse is going to be. Now my husband kind of knocked them around a little bit when he was trying to get the mowing done, but all the equipment is here this morning. They brought it in yesterday to dig the footer. Orientation of your greenhouse is very important. Towards this fence is north, east, west, south. So our greenhouse is going to be facing south and on the northern end is where the storage room is. So there's no sun that's going to be coming through from that end and shading the rest of the greenhouse. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's, that's my understanding of why, I, um, of why I oriented the greenhouse the way I have. So right here's the front door. You can see that we're in shade right now. Um, we have a line, a fence row, and you can see the sun coming in. This is facing east. So up until about 10 o'clock, the greenhouse will be in shade and you can see just where the sun is starting to come in. It's about 10 till nine right now. Um, you can see my garden is already starting to get some sunlight. Strawberries are already in full sun. Fountain, everything is in sun right now. So up until about 10, the greenhouse will be in shade. And then as the sun comes over the sky and at the angle that the sun is, the rest of the greenhouse, not including the storage room, will be getting full sun the rest of the day until about five o'clock. So, and then it'll just be portions of it in shade and that's the time of year up until about seven o'clock. And then shade from the house and where the sun is going down behind the trees to the west of us, our house faces west. So I should have a good eight hours of sun on the greenhouse. I'm happy to have the shade in the morning. And then all of this is on our property. So if it got to a point where I felt like I was having too much shade, I could always cut some of these larger trees down. Uh, most of them are not, they're not good trees. Any tree is good, I'm glad to have them. But you know, some of them are not, um, there's some that has thorns. We have a lot of Chinese privet in the hedgerow there, which is very invasive. You can't eradicate it. You can just try to control it. And you can see right now it's not being controlled. We've cut it down a couple of years ago and tried to clean it all out, but uh, it's very hard to get rid of it here in our area. It's everywhere. So I just wanted to give you, a, you know, a kind of a, a briefing on why you should think about how you're orienting your greenhouse. So this is, the orientation of this greenhouse is gonna be facing south. It'll have six mil double wall polycarbonate. And that will be all on the roof and then on three sides. So the whole 22 feet length of the greenhouse will have the polycarbonate on the roof. And then going back 16 feet on the sides, Will all be polycarbonate but when we get to the storage room we're going to use hardy board on that so um, the back area here and you'll see when we actually get the footer dug that's going to be a separate room from the greenhouse and it will be all storage but it will have a polycarbonate roof and the eave will be polycarbonate so the wall is going to come up six feet um, the outside walls will be six feet high and then the best I remember, we're going to have an 812 pitch roof, which will give us a um, 10 foot eave. This is the first video in this installment. It will be a series. I hope you'll continue to watch. Thank you.